All right, agonist versus an antagonist. I'm assuming you're talking about uh, pharmacology and the, these types of drugs. An agonist um, loves to wear disguises and they're going to trick the receptors. They're like, I'm who I say I am. And the antagonist is like a goalie. So they like bind to the receptors and they stop the receptors from actually like producing a desired response. The agonist, who's like a, like a spy, will actually like, like mimic the activities of a, norm, a normal neurotransmitter that would like bind to a receptor and then it would um, cause the receptor to have like a similar response. Like, oh, everything's normal, but they're disguised. Uh, for example, um, an example of an antagonist, um, atropine. Atropine will actually bind to receptors and cause like parasympathetic um, nervous system. So like it'll like affect your heart rate, your um, O salivation, a hospice um, nurses know atropine or even like pupil dilation. Um, so sometimes we use it as cardiac nurses in the CVICU to like treat like a slowed heart rate kind of thing. Um, so it actually like binds to the receptors of the um, parasympathetic nervous system and it like stops it from having certain reactions. An example of an agonist drug, remember agonists are like spies who cause a response. Um, heroin, um, oxycodone, methadone, they cause the opioid receptors to turn on. They're like, hey, look, I'm an, I'm an opioid. You should just have that full opioid effect. But they're disguised. Hope that helped.